Green Bay fans have high hopes that this will be an even better year than last, especially after the way the Packers shut out Joe Namath on opening night. Six days later, Detroit's Greg Landry on the game's first play from scrimmage again tested the Green Bay pass defense. And again, Ken Ellis was the hero as he came up with the first of three Packer interceptions. Green Bay's Scott Hunter did not have an easy day either. Most of the Packers' yardage was due to 22 typically rugged thrust by John Brockington, whose 118 yards rushing totaled more than all the Lion runners combined. Rockington's running mate in the Green Bay Bull Elephant backfield is MacArthur Lane number 36, who burst for the flag in Green Bay's only touchdown. The Packers led until well into the fourth quarter, when Greg Landry was finally able to avoid an interception long enough to put the Lions in scoring position. With four and a half minutes left, Alty Taylor scored, and the Lions were ahead for the first time in the game, 13 to 10. But then a strange thing happened. With less than two minutes left, number 12, Jim Delgazo, entered his first game as a Green Bay Packer quarterback. Harry Smith was on the receiving end of Delgazo's first completion, but the Detroit defense was not about to be upstaged. Then came the game's key play. A minute and a half left, fourth down and 23 to go from his own 38. Everyone in Lambeau Field knew exactly what Jim Delgazo had to do. Clutch catch by Johnny Staggers gave Jim Delgazo all the time and operating room he really needed. One more completion to Barry Smith, plus a roughing penalty, set up Chester Marco for the all-important tying field goal. Marco's kick was good, but after the game, the name they were repeating in Green Bay was Delgazo, Delgazo.